Hey friends, I've wanted a brew metric for a while now and every time I was ready to buy one, the model I was looking for is always sold out. And so when they dropped the black PVD version, I was like, take all of my money. This watch looks so beautiful. And so here we are. I have the new brew metric in PVD black. So just like any brew metric watch, it comes with the pouch as well as the carrying travel case. And the travel case is pretty decent quality. It has little snaps holding the watch in place, but we're not going to talk about that. Just a quick history around the micro brand brew watches. Basically, it started 10 years ago in New York City by Jonathan Ferrer, and they do a lot of small batch runs, and they basically always seem to be sold out. But at the time of this review, actually, all of the metric designs are back in stock. I don't know how long that'll last, but it is right now. And brew watch is kind of a concept based around coffee, and most of the watches have the markings at the 25 and 30 second range, which is actually the ideal time to pull a shot of espresso. And that's kind of why they're logo as a coffee bean and it's kind of all based around coffee hence the name brew this watch design is pretty cool it's got kind of a 1970s case design and it's got a really nice beautiful tapered band that follows the lines of the watch it is pvd coated and has kind of a brushed matte look to it but if you look closely around the edges of the watch they're all polished and so it kind of gives a nice silhouette of this watch it kind of gives it a little pop of detail and you might not even notice it at first but when you look at the watch you're going to see that it has a really nice silhouette it has a fluorescent red seconds hand, and that also carries over to the sub dials, but the hour and minute hands are actually brushed silver, and that kind of matches the raised indices. The rest of the watch markings are silver, and that carries over to the crown and pushers. Now, I'm a bit confused because it looks kind of like there's loom paint on these markers, but when you put it in the dark, there's no glow at all. So I feel like that's kind of weird because it looks like there's loom on it, but there is no loom. Now they've said that this colorway is inspired by 1980 sports cars and I tracked down a mid 1970s Porsche 911 to shoot the B-roll and I gotta say it fits the car's aesthetic perfectly especially when you compare it to the gauges they look almost spot on. Now one interesting quirk about this watch face is that the left sub dial, the one that counts to 60 minutes when the chrono is activated, actually cuts into the markings above 9 o'clock into the 10 o'clock mark and I didn't really notice this at first until I was looking closer at the watch and it's kind of an interesting choice but that's technically how all brew metric dials look. Another interesting note to make is that it doesn't have a date function. And this is weird because this movement in the other brew metric variants like the retro dial and the steel dial do have a date function. One thing I really love about this watch face is that they left the brew logo kind of a matte black stamped into the watch face. And instead of painting it silver or making it stand out, it's more subtle and I kind of love that look. It's cool that this isn't just painted black. It's a PVD coated watch and it will hold up to scratches better than regular stainless, but I guess we'll see how well it actually holds up over time. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video a year from now just to see how well it looks. Now when it comes to specs, lug to lug it's 41.5 millimeters. The case size is 36 millimeters, so it does wear smaller, but because of the integrated band and the way it tapers, it doesn't really look that tiny in my seven inch wrist. Now I wouldn't normally wear a watch this small, I wouldn't wear anything under 39 millimeters, but this actually looks pretty solid and it doesn't feel that small on my wrist. And I'm used to wearing smaller digital square watches and it kind of feels like that. When it comes to thickness, it's 10.75 millimeters thick, so it's nice and slim. It does have sapphire glass, but I didn't notice any AR coating on the glass. Now when we come around to the back of the watch, the case back is held on with four screws. It's got a really nice glossy slash matte finish to the design with their logo stamped in it. it looks really nice. This watch is 50 meters water resistant, so it's not going to be a dive watch. It's using a hybrid VK68 Mecha Quartz movement. And if you know anything about this movement, it's made by Seiko. It's a tried, tested and true bulletproof movement. So it's nice to see that they're using it in this watch. And when you engage that chronograph, it's got a nice smooth look to it, similar to like a high beat or mechanical watch because it is Mecha Quartz. That top left sub dial counts up to 60 minutes and then the chronograph will stop automatically. And if you're gonna manually stop it, it's got a really nice snappy reset. Now, when taking a look at this bracelet, it does have a nice tapered look to it, which has that vintage styling. It does have a pretty typical folding clasp though, and that clasp has four micro adjustments. And what's really cool is they got their little bean logo stamped into it. Now, in resizing the watch, thankfully it comes with a tool to remove those split pin links. And it's maybe not my favorite style of pins, but it does get the job done. This black PVD version of the brew metric is really nice and it's nice and sporty, but it's also kind of low key and casual too. It's not quite like the other brew metrics with tons of color on them. You could basically wear this for any occasion and it's kind of an everyday watch. It's nice and slim, it's sporty, and because it's black, it doesn't stand out too much. They definitely nailed that Porsche 911 look, an older 70s or 80s Porsche 911. And that's why I shot all that B-roll. I basically shot them a free commercial. You can thank me later for that one. But I just kind of got inspired by this watch and wanted to shoot something really cool. Anyway, that's going to be it for this review. I have no idea how long this run is going to be going for on Brew's website. It might not last that long, and this might be a collector's edition. But for now, it's in stock. If you want to get your hands on it, I have links in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay fresh. <laughs>